Welcome to my CBSE English teacher. Today, let's learn the poem How to Tell Wild Animals by Caroline Wells from Class 10 First Flight. About the poet, Caroline Wells was an American writer who was famous for books based on mystery. Her famous works are At the Sign of the Sphinx, The Jingle Book, The Story of Betty, etc. Introduction The poet has described the features of various wild animals in an amusing way. She has used language in a way that creates humor. She introduces the reader to many kinds of wild animals like the Asian lion, Bengal tiger, bear, etc., explaining about each of the animals in a very humorous way. Here is a summary of the poem. If you are in a forest by chance in the east, and if a huge terrible animal comes to you, if it roars loudly, and if you are dying, then you will come to know that it's an Asian lion. If a wild animal with black stripes on yellow hide welcomes you and eats you, then this simple style will teach you that it's a Bengal tiger. When strolling, if you see an animal whose hide is covered with spots and it jumps at you and starts eating you, then you should understand that it's a leopard. There will be no use of shouting with pain because it will continuously eat you. If you are just walking around in the yard and an animal meets you and gives you a hug tightly, then believe that it's a bear. If you have a doubt, then the animal will kiss you because a novice may be confused to recognize animals. You can differentiate between a crocodile and a hyena. Hyena always smiles, but if tears come from its eyes, then it surely is a crocodile. An original chameleon is like a lizard. It doesn't have ears or wings. If there is nothing on the tree, then you are sure to find a chameleon there. Let's look at the poetic devices used in the poem. Alliteration, roaming round, he has, when walking, who hugs, novice nonplus, he hasn't. Repetition, lip and left again. Question and answers. Question number one. What are the distinctive features of the Asian lion as given in the poem? Answer. The Asian lion is a large beast. He is brownish yellow in color. When he roars, the sound is terrible to hear. This makes one almost die due to great fear. He is found in the forest of the eastern countries of Asia. That's why he is called the Asian lion. Question number 2. How does the poet describe the hyena and a crocodile? Answer. The poet describes the crocodile and the hyena humorously. The crocodile has tears in its eyes when it comes near its victim. The hyena has happy smiles on its face, which is really not so. The face of the hyena appears to be smiling. Question number 3. How does the poet create humor in the poem? Answer. The poet creates humor by describing various beasts of prey differently. It is by the use of words and emotions. The Bengal tiger is never noble in its heart. The leopard kills his prey in moments. The prey's crying won't save him. The bear's hug is never loving. The hyena never smiles happily. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSC English teacher. Thank you for watching. Like, share and comment.